We're on a mission to help our friend Blue Person today. You might remember him from some of our previous tutorials. He's taken off his Sonic hair cap, it's just not enough for him anymore. He's asking us to put a full Sonic texture on him so that he can run around as the blue blur himself in both side-scrolling games and 3D spaces. The only problem is, if you just slap a texture on there, things don't look quite right when he moves around. We want to make it so that the texture is always facing the camera. He won't be needing this anymore. First, we'll look at having the texture face the camera for a simple side-scrolling 2D game. This is the texture we're going to use. We're going to change the turning speed to zero and change the y-axis rotation to negative 90 and turn blue person invisible. Then you attach a texture that's appropriately sized and that's it. It is very easy. The only real drawback to this method is that you now have to programmatically switch between left and right facing sprites and animations. And if you're worried about his speed being affected by going forward and backward when he's rotated sideways, I use the speed sensor to check that the speed is exactly the same going in either direction. So it won't affect platforming and physics. Now we can move on to having the texture face the camera in a 3D environment. We're going to use a Y hinge to rotate a box object toward the camera at all times. So connect a Y hinge to the person and then create a box that is of the same size or of the size of your texture. In this case, X1, Y2, Z1 with a connection point of center center. We'll connect that to the hinge connector and to the texture. To get the proper rotation angle, all we need is a head node on and an angle sensor. The head node on takes the position of the camera's origin point. So when you rotate the camera, you're rotating that angle value. You simply take the Y rotation value from the angle sensor and plug it directly into the Y hinge. And that's it. Now the texture will always rotate itself to be in alignment with the head node on's angle. This was a very simple tutorial. If you'd like to see more 2D and texture based videos, let me know and give me your suggestions. This wall tastes like dirt!